bad. <laughs> he needs to approve my vote, like, hurry. But anywho, I rode in the boat. And I got two red snapper fillets. No, I got two fillets, butterflies, snappers. Now, let me put my fishing gear away. What's that? The earring? It's on backwards? Oh no, that's the new fad. Y'all haven't caught up with that yet? Ah, you will. Anywho. This is what I caught. A red snapper. And it's butterflied. And now, the way that you do that is, you have to put your special little lure on, like this. And the fillet will get underneath it. And you hook, and you got it! And you have a scaled butterfly, northern, northern red snapper. All clean with the tail. So that's what I caught today. Two, two daddy, two without a bow. <laughs> but I had to rent one. So, anywho, we're gonna prepare our snapper. Now, we're going to make oven fried red snapper today. Okay, this is a new recipe for me. <laughs> so I have to read it. Plus I can't remember anything anyway. So, oh, we're going to rinse the fillets and we're going to pat them dry with paper towels. So if we come over here, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at that sink. <laughs> Am I spoiled? Delightful Debbie has all the kitchen features. Now, what we're going to do is rinse, rinse our fillets. <laughs> <laughs> now we have a fishy sink with cold water. Now the reason that you rinse them going to pat with a paper towel. Pat, 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 pat. Actually, isn't this patting? No, this is pat. Pat, pat, pat. Get them little suckers dried off. The plate is wet, so we'll do it this way. Of course, I gotta put it back in the plate. Look, look at the difference. Look at that meat. Fish number two that I caught in my rental boat today. Another red snapper, butterfly. Rinse in cold water. Now, if you happen to be living in Florida, having cold water at this time of year is an issue because you have to wait days to get all the hot water out of the line. I just wouldn't rinse them. Okay. Pat. Try. Wow. I'm losing my design. Now, we're going to cut the little tails off. Now the reason that we cut their little tails off is why? 
so they don't swim away while they're cooking. God. So we're just gonna cut the little tail off. There's bone in there. <laughs> you don't want a bone. Fish bones. You know I'm an avid fisherman. I have been fishing since I can remember. Back then you didn't have to have a license. And we caught all kinds of fish. I didn't cook them, but I caught them. Okay, look at that. Now we're going to marinate them. So, add some flavor. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to marinate them in oil. We have one cup of oil. Spread it out in the pan. All of it. Ready? My honey always cleans up the mess. <laughs> and we're going to add three cloves of garlic. Now, since we don't have any garlic cloves, we're going to use minced garlic and guess. So we'll say one clove, two cloves. And three clove. Simple. Simple as that. Now you're supposed to, you're supposed to do something. You're supposed to put your garlic, <laughs> your cloves of garlic into a garlic press so it mishes it all up. It's already mushed. It's already mushed, and we're going to mush it more. Mush. Look at that. Same difference. Garlic press. Liquefied garlic. How cool is that? See, you can change any recipe. Now, since I've changed this recipe, I can call it Delightful Debbie's Oven Fried Red Snapper. But I won't for now. So we're going to put this in our marinated, marinade. <laughs> Debbie's got long arms. Look at that. Oh my God. Now we have to add one more salt. A teaspoon of salt. Sea salt. If you're gonna be eating fish that came out of the sea, you must use sea salt. Either that or don't rinse your fish and you'll have sea salt on them already. Now, we're going to mix this up. Actually, I'd rather use a deep collar thing and stack it and just turn it over. But that's not what the recipe says. It says in a long, oblong baking dish. So, we're going to marinate our fillets. Now, it doesn't matter if you start with the skin side that has been descaled or the fleshy side. We're going to start with the fleshy side. So, we're going to stick these in here. Now see, if I hadn't cut their tails off, they'd be swimming in the oil. We don't want that. So, they're going to marinate for 10 minutes. 
So I'm going to set the timer. If I can find it. Okay, so 10 minutes. And that is it for now.
we're going to then use the plain breadcrumbs like we did before. And skin side down. This is called organizational skills. When you lay one one way and one the other way, I have great organizational skills. Ha. I can't even organize to get my dad to get me a boat. For crying out loud. He said it was nothing. <laughs> His nothing committee will not approve my boat. I like a challenge. And one more. Into the cheese. We have to steal some from the bottom. Oh, look at that. That just looks so good. And then into, I don't know why we're using a cup of breadcrumbs because they don't seem to be going anywhere, do they? So, if you want to save some money, I would use like a tablespoon. <laughs> And there's the last one. Now we have a little Parmesan cheese left over. Parmesan cheese. And we're just gonna sprinkle that on the top. Why? Because we're not gonna throw the Parmesan cheese away. Oops. We may throw it on the floor. <laughs> We're not going to throw it away. The breadcrumbs are a different story. And there we have it. Bread snapper filet. Now we're going to oven fry it. Lobster gloss. <laughs> oh gosh, this is so much fun. We're going to take our fillets. Now, this is going 
gonna set the alarms off again, isn't it? Here, use. Uh... I'm not setting it now. Well, you can use those silicone pads. Okay. The expert has just told me that I can set this down. Now I wasn't going to, but it's getting hot. Uh huh. Woo. Like that. Uh huh. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. These are my two pieces. So anyway, be right back. ocean perch recipe. It was a little bit of a different recipe, but it's very good. Yeah, we've been eating a lot of fresh fish out here because we have a wonderful seafood market that gets fresh fish all the time. From the Gulf of Alabama. From the Gulf of Alabama. And it's right there. And it's very inexpensive. And they have it all. So, we're living healthy. When I get my boat, and be healthy. But in the meantime, okay. Our very, <laughs> our, our rear vintage. 